Let's go. We are here at the Bellevue Elementary Playground and we're trying to find out who or how many have cell phones. Do you have a cell phone? No. Uh, no. Of course I don't. I'm just eight years old. Do you guys have a cell phone? Do you guys use it for internet? Or? No, I don't. Text. No, I can't. That no. Device. I have a tablet. Do you guys have a cell phone? Yes. Do you guys usually watch YouTube on it? Yes. <laughs> what do you guys usually watch on YouTube? Uh, cupcakes, cookies, and cardio. Welcome to Bellevue News. I am Lynn Alejandre. And I am Liz Snow. Today we're going to talk about how to be safe on the internet. Yeah, the web is a great tool to use. It can help in many ways, but there are also dangers. Like the real world, there are, are strangers on the web. Some of the dangers are giving away your address, first and last name, and the name of your school. Also, don't give away your phone number or email. Now to you, Derek. Hello, my name is Derek Bingham, and I'm here with Professor Trevor. So I just have some questions for you about internet safety, okay? What if a kid went online and saw something inappropriate? What would they do? If they saw something bad online, they should go tell a trusted parent or relative or a teacher. What should they do if they're afraid to tell? That's normal for them to be afraid or embarrassed to tell, but the important thing is that our adult friends are here to help us. They really care about our safety. It's okay to tell. That's good advice. For always remember to tell. Hello, Mrs. A. I'm Professor Trevor from Bellevue News, and I'm here with Derek from Bellevue News, too. So, do you mind if you tell us about your website? Sure, I'd love to. So, my website is uh, digitallyresponsibleness.weekly.com. And it's a website for teachers and students and even parents on internet safety. So there's um, a student resource uh, part and a teacher resource part. And if you just click on a different topics of internet safety, like cyberbullying or personal information, it just takes you to other websites like NetSmart or Common Sense that give uh, videos and extra information about how to be safe on the internet. That's awesome. Do you mind if we take a look at it? Sure. So if you come over here to my computer, I actually went ahead and pulled it up already. Thank you. So this is the site. You're welcome. We'll post that information on the show. Awesome. Wow, that was great information. Thank you, Professor Trevor and Derek. Yeah, that was great advice. And never be afraid to tell an adult or anybody who's watching you if you see something inappropriate. Yes, remember to always tell. Now up next is our Cyber Weather Girls. This is Macy Skelgard and Allison Anderson, and we are giving the report on cyberbullying. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is bullying over the internet. Cyberbullying can be used to embarrass you and threaten you. Cyberbullying can be done on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Cyberbullying is not cool. If you get cyberbullied, tell your parents immediately. Nearly 43% of kids have been bullied, bullied online. One in four have had it happen more than once. To take care of cyberbullying, tell a parent, adult, or someone you trust, and they will take care of it. If you can you get cyberbullied cyber by, by text, text, email, or, or any, any communication, communication Bring out, out your, your shield and his lock it.